I want to show you what I did yesterday. And by yesterday, I mean last night because I couldn't sleep. Um, I made my own straps for my pants <laughs> or whatever. Um, here they are. These are just simple, simple straps. I just used uh, plain old stuff that you can get from Walmart, actually. Um, I got D-rings. That's what these are. And these things right here are called eyelets. In the sewing slash whatever, you know, world. <laughs> Those are called eyelets. But I'll show you how to make something like this. Um, pretty much I'm going to show you how um, to punch it and stuff like that. I don't have any more D-rings left because I couldn't find them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the leftover piece I have. This is, uh, I'm just going to show you how I did this, pretty much. So the top of it, like that, is folded over, right? So let's, let's make it so you can see my crotch. There you go. That. All right, now, what you want to do is fold this in half, like that. I don't know if you can see, like that. And then fold it in half again, because right here is where you're going to make a slit. Now, take your scissors. It doesn't matter if it's thick or not, just cut it, like that. You see? want to cut it about that far so you can like move it around and stuff that way um, the eyelet will fit through the hole now these eyelets I got from Walmart from the sewing section whatever they just they look like this um, oops dropped a couple these ones are silver you can get them in gold you can also get them in bronze um, but yeah, and you're also going to need this. This is a punch. I got this a long time ago, back when I used to, to make things. <laughs> and you just fold, fold this. Make it so you can see what the fuck I'm doing. And have the eyelet part, this part, stick on the outside, or on the inside of it can get it through. See it helps when you don't drop it on the table. So it looks like put it through and then put it through the second hole that's up here that was made when you cut it. might take some force if the hole on the inside is too small kind of happens sometimes you know Whatever. like that so like with this one the outer part of the eyelet is on the outside or the inside actually rather <laughs> is on the inside so all the nice part of it is on the outside so that's what you want. Take your, your punch or whatever, like this, and you put the eyelet part like that on, like this, and then you clamp it down and do this really hard. Try not to ugh, fuck up your hand like I did. And this should bend the other half. That way you have a, you don't have to sew this or anything. Now you have your own loop at the bottom and you can put a D-ring in here. Um, when I made these I put the D-rings in first before I put the eyelet in but you can do it whichever way you want. You can also use, um, what are they, those key, key ring circle things and put them in there for like a keychain or something. But that's that one. Um, I'm going to do the other side too, just because I want to. <laughs> I fold it, 
again, fold it, and then fold it again. Grab your scissors, cut it. Make sure the cut is in the middle. Um, yeah. If you're going to uh, make a row <laughs> like I did, um, it's always good to have a silver marker with you. That way you can put the dots on the paper. Or it's always good to use a silver marker um, to make dots, and that's what I did for this. You can't you can't see the silver marker because um, where I cut on the strap and placed the eyelet covered it. But yeah, that's why they're they're all an inch apart. And yeah, and that's how I did that. And then we just. Pop the eyelet through, take the bottom. For some reason, I didn't want it to cut. The bitch. <laughs> so we'll just fold it over. And cut it. And then insert the eyelet like this. Now, when you do that, you can put a D ring in there. Um, and then fold it over. It makes it easier because D-rings are very hard to uh, thread through the things sometimes. Stop being a bastard. Just go through. Ouch. Take your clamp thing, like that. Normally you'll hear a pop or something, but for some reason it doesn't want to make a noise like it normally did when I did this yesterday. But yeah, and there you have the ends of your straps, like that. Now, what I did here was I used a silver marker and with a ruler marked out an inch gap between these. Um, to do this on that, you just, ugh, sorry, crouch shot. <laughs> to this with that, <laughs> to do that to this, you would just get a marker and put inch dots on it and then fold it over, cut it with scissors and add the eyelets and then clamp them down with the eyelet thingy, whatever. I don't even know what this is called, the clamp thing. Majigger, I don't know. I got it a while ago. Um, but yeah, that's how you put in eyelets into strap. Now this is just plain material kind of strap stuff. Um, I think it was called ribbon or something on the package, but it isn't ribbon. It's not normal ribbon. It's a lot thicker and more for um, clothing stuff. So that's what that is. Um, but yeah, with the eyelets, I deboxed them and put them in a baggie. They come with these things, these metal things. Um, and to use these, you just, uh, take the eyelet, take an eyelet, put it on this part, and put this in the inside. Or no. You take this, you put the eyelet on it, like that, and then you take this, this is the stamp part of it, and then you put it on the top, so it's like that. But you'd obviously you'd have like a piece of clothing or something in here where the eyelet rests on the tip of this. And then you would take a hammer and slam this down, and that would force the eyelet to break in the top where it has the slits. I don't know if you can see. Whoops. <laughs> the slits on it, but yeah, um, I don't recommend using these because I think that they're just um, They're a pain in the ass. It takes forever um, Invest in one of these if you want to make 
a lot of these things um, like if you want to put eyelets in a lot of your your clothes and stuff um, this is just a DIY kind of thing that I do sometimes for my clothes like I've had shoes in the past you lose their eyelets for their laces so I'd always like repair them and they still looked you know the same just a different eyelet um, it's also for um, if you, you break a zipper in your boots you can just put eyelets in them depending on the fabric that the boots are and then you can lace them up um, I've done that with a pair of boots before but they're they're long gone now because um, they don't fit me anymore but uh, yeah so that's how you make that um, I only showed you how to do the tips of them to fold it over but it's the, essentially the same you just cut slits in the fabric where you want the eyelet to be it's better to take a marker and um, mark out where you want the eyelet on the strap and then you cut the hole put the eyelet in and press it down with the clamp and then you'll end up with beautiful straps like this. That was in that fun little DIY thing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you like my DIY stuff, please, I don't know, let me know. Um, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you want, leave a comment. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.